Hey First Kids, this is Mr. Ryan here, uh, going to continue our lesson in Romans. Uh, we're going to be continuing in the Roman road, and if you've got your Bible with you today, I would like for you to turn to chapter 6 of the uh, book of Romans, and we're going to start in verse 9. So I've got my Bible here, and we're going to read, and then we're going to uh, discuss about it. Before we read, though, let's give a little cap of what we've talked about. All right, so the last few weeks we talked about how Sin entered the world, and it was bad. It was a big thing um, uh, that we needed to worry about. And sin is a very big problem. And um, But last week, we learned that Jesus died on the cross, not only for his sins, but also the sins of the whole world. And he gave hope of the hope of salvation to everyone, uh, not just me, not just you, but everybody in the world, your friends, your family, uh, everybody across the world. Uh, and today we're going to uh, be continuing that uh, thought process in that Jesus not only died on the cross and gave the hope of salvation, but he also defeated sin and death in that death, uh, his own death, but he also defeated death by being raised on the third day. And so we're going to read... Uh, what Paul says to the, the church in Rome and um, see what he has to say about how Jesus defeated sin and death. All right, we're going to start in verse 9 of chapter 6. It says this, For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died he died to sin once and for all. That's very important. Once and for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. Verse 11. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body so that you obey its evil desires. Do not offer any part of yourself to sin as an instrument of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as to those who have been brought from death to life and offer every part of yourself to him as an instrument of righteousness. For sin no, shall no longer be your master because you are not under the law, but under grace. And you see, Paul is trying to tell the people there in Rome that it's not about um, following the law, to, you know, step by step by step uh, as what the Jews were telling them to do. Uh, but Jesus came to fulfill that law. He came to um, take away the sins of everybody in the whole world. That's what we talked about yesterday or uh, last week, how um, the, he gave the hope of salvation to everybody, uh, and that everybody can be saved, not just people who follow the law. And um, we are now under grace, he says, uh, and so that's so important. Um, and Jesus uh, died once and for all. It says that his death was not uh, just sufficient for or um, was able to take care of everything uh, just in his life, but also the sins of the whole world. And um, it's so important that we remember that because now that we have salvation, we believe that Jesus died for our sins on the cross it's so important that we realize that our sins are taken care of forever. Forever. He takes care of us all forever. Um, and then uh, if you turn with me to chapter 6, same chapter, but at the very end of verse 22 and 23, it says, But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness and the result is eternal life. Verse 23, here's very important, and you probably have heard this one before. It says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so that gift that he gives you and me uh, is eternal life. He gives us eternal life. If we believe in Jesus, that he take, takes away our sin and that we uh, become whole again, we will be able to have eternal life. But it's not because of anything that we did. It's not because of something that Mr. Ryan does for you or your parents does for you. Nothing that you can do 
uh, can get you saved other than believing in Jesus and that saving work of Jesus on the cross. That is what saves us. Uh, and he defeated death uh, by being raised again on the third day. And so it's important, boys and girls, that we realize that uh, there is nothing that we can do to earn our salvation. But he tells us when we, when we believe in him, and when we hope in him, and give uh, our lives over to him, uh, as it said in the latter part there, um, uh, but rather offer yourselves to God as to those who have been brought from death to life. We must offer our whole selves. We must offer everything that we have. And so our thoughts um, need to be for the Lord. Our, uh, what we do needs to be for the Lord. And what we hope for and what we love and what we look forward to in the future needs to be for the Lord. And so, uh, boys and girls, I hope that you can say that today, that um, whatever you're doing, you can do for the Lord. Um, and if you know of someone who um, needs Jesus and needs that salvation, that hope that we talked about, um, you can tell them that Jesus has defeated sin and death, and He is ready. He is willing. He is able to take care of us. Um, and uh, we have to remember that sin is just something that came with us. You know, when the first man, Adam, was ever created, he sinned against God. And that's when sin came in, but he's taking care of it. He's taking care of it forever. Um, and so it's important that we remember that. Jesus is super important, and I hope that you know him today. And if you don't know him, talk with your parents. Talk with them and say, who is Jesus and why is he in so important? Uh, and if you need to come and talk with me, I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear from you. So uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. I've got a few announcements. Um, next week, we're going to be starting up Sunday school. And uh, so tell your mom and dad that you would love to come and see us at Sunday school. Uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, I will make a, a reminder that... Um, when you do come, we ask that you bring a mask, um, put it on just like you do at school, uh, because it, I know it's uh, not fun during the week to be in mask at school, but um, I think you can take care of it and do it for just a little bit while we're at church. Uh, I promise you, we'll have, still have fun, we'll still have a blast, we'll still have a great time like we always do in Sunday school. Uh, your Sunday school teachers are looking forward to seeing you, and uh, we hope to see you there. Um, not only today, but also we look forward to seeing you next week in Sunday school. Uh, so be uh, looking forward to seeing you. And if you have any questions, call me at the church office or um, I'll see you soon. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.